the necessity of security export control. This e-learning program is designed to help faculty, staff, and students of universities and research institutes to understand the basics of security export control. Security export control is essential when conducting educational and research activities involving the transfer of technologies and export of goods. License from the Minister of Economy, Trade, and Industry may be required as a result of review by each university or research institute. As for specific procedures, please follow the rules of each university or research institute and implement them appropriately. In this unit, I will explain the necessity of security export control. This video material was prepared based on information available as of March 2023. For the latest information, please visit the MEDI's website on the security export control. The necessity of security export control. Security export control refers to the control of the transfer of technologies and the export of goods to prevent technologies and goods which can be potentially diverted to weapons or military use from passing states, terrorists, or others who may engage in activities of concern that could threaten the peace and security of Japan and the international community. If advanced technologies and goods held by developed nations were to be transferred to countries developing of or other related activities for weapons of mass destruction or terrorists, they would pose an international menace and would be a major factor in unstable international situation. Therefore, in order to prevent the outflow of technologies and goods to countries of concern and terrorists, they must be strictly controlled from a variety of perspectives, including not only direct technology transfer and export of goods, but also indirect technology transfer and roundabout export. In recent years, technology acquisition activities by countries of concern and terrorists have become increasingly sophisticated, and the importance of contributing to the maintenance of peace and security, not only in Japan, but also in the international community through security export control, has increased also in academic research activities conducted by universities and research institutes. Situation surrounding security. In recent years, the security environment has become increasingly complex and serious due to numerous terrorist attacks, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and North Korea's repeated missile launches. Specific cases include terrorism and the alleged use of chemical weapons in the Middle East by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, so-called ISIL, the IAEA's report on the start of Iran's highly enriched uranium production process, the Russian military's invasion of Ukraine, North Korea's multiple missile launches, and China's growing military budget. Against such a background, it has been found that Japanese-made components identified in the ISIL bombs and that Japanese-made radars installed in the North Korean battleships more stringent security export control is required to prevent the unintended transfer of technologies and export of goods. Examples of civilian technology utilized in the military field. What should be kept in mind in security export control is not only military supplies such as so-called weapons. In recent years, civilian technologies have taken the lead in technological innovation, and while there are an increasing number of cases where civilian technologies are diverted to military use, the importance of properly managing not only goods but also civilian technologies have grown even more. For example, carbon fiber is used in a wide range of civilian applications, including golf club shafts, fishing rods, and tennis rackets. On the other hand, it is also used for military applications such as the main wing material of fighter jets. 
Other cases where civilian technologies are used in military applications include machine tool, freeze dryer, and image recognition technology. There are cases where countries of concern or terrorists dispatch researchers and international students to acquire these civilian technologies that can be diverted to military use, which shows that their procurement activities have become increasingly diverse. A wide range of civilian technologies that can be diverted to military use exist also in universities and research institutes. For this reason, universities and institutes also need appropriate control of them so that their research for peaceful purposes is not used for activities of concern, such as weapons of mass destruction, while considering the possibility of diversion to military use. A case of leakage of an advanced technology by a professor at a U.S. university. As international people-to-people -people exchange and joint research are accelerating in universities and research institutes, opportunities for the transfer of technology subject to the security export control regulations seem to be increasing. Against such a background, an incident actually occurred in the United States in which a university professor was arrested for violating the security export control laws. Professor Roth of the University of Tennessee signed an agreement with AGT to conduct joint research on plasma actuators for unmanned aerial vehicles. AGT already had a research agreement with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory on the plasma actuators for unmanned aerial vehicles. In 2008, Professor Roth and his ex-student, Sherman at AGT, granted access to reports on the research to Chinese, Iranian, and other international students without obtaining a U.S. government license. Professor Roth also took a personal computer to China for a lecture without license from the U.S. government, which containing technical information about research with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. This led to prison sentences for Professor Roth and Sherman in 2009. This is how a researcher may be accused of violating laws and regulations if a university or research institute fails to properly manage the transfer of technologies based on their research activities. Transfer of technologies and export of goods in academic and research institutions. In Japan, the Foreign Exchange and Foreign Trade Act, so-called FEFTA, regulates the transfer of technologies and the export of goods. In order to comply with the regulations under the FEFTA, it is important to understand the opportunities for the transfer of technologies and export of goods that are common in universities and research institutes and to understand that they may be subject to the control. For example, it is necessary to pay attention to the transfer of technologies to students and researchers and to joint research with foreign universities and companies. Information provided by telephone or email, classes, conferences, meetings, and research instructions may also fall under the transfer of technologies or export of goods that is subject to the control under the FEFTA. It should also be noted that online lectures, conferences, and meetings can also be opportunities for the transfer of technologies. In addition, bringing and shipping research samples or prototypes overseas, research facility tours, and explaining research contents and processes when accepting visiting researchers from other countries, and providing technical information at private lectures or exhibitions may also fall under the transfer of technologies or export of goods that is subject to the control under the FEFTA. Thus, there are many opportunities for the transfer of technologies and export of goods in universities and research institutes. As it is often difficult to recover the technologies once transferred, so careful attention must be paid to their management. 
When transferring technologies or exporting goods, please contact the relevant department of each university or research institute to confirm the specific procedures. Please refer to another unit of this e-learning course for an explanation of details of the system, such as what technologies and goods are subject to the control, which destinations for the transfer and export are subject to the control, and in what specific situations attention is required. This concludes my explanation of the necessity of the security export control.